Welcome, good morning everybody. Welcome to the Dr. No Show. Today is the Marvelous Monday. And here with me we have Ann Hall, we have Christine, we have Ali, we have Danny, Dimitri, and of course me. To start off our show, we, we have, have Christine caller. with the Headline News. Oh, thank you, Derek. Oh, we have, oh no. We have a caller. Oh, oh, they, they dropped, dropped it. it. Okay, well, police in Detroit, Michigan, Sunday, profound sorrow at the fatal shooting of a seven-year-old schoolgirl in a... Uh, by a police raid, and um, Aaliyah John was shot and killed by police ex executing a search warrant as part of a homicide investigation. A 17-year-old high school student was shot to death Friday, and they were doing a sh search warrant at his house. Upon entering the home, the officer encountered a 46-year-old female in the room, and at about the time the officer's weapon discharged one round, which tragically shot shot the seven-year-old Ayina, Ayina Stanley Jones at the neck and the head area. And um, police officials said that um, they can all do this pledge as an open, full investigation and to support the Ayina's family. And also we have Rhode Island School reaches, reaches deal to rehire fire teachers, Union says. So in Rhode Island, they're rehiring the high school teachers that they just fired. February as researched, as as reached a tentative agreement in the school's teachers union to rehire them. So hopefully they rehire those teachers. Hopefully yeah. if they all have family members they need to take care yeah. of. Right. It's sad. Yeah. Today's a sad day. Just listening to deaths, just listening to teachers getting get fired and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. But it is what it is. It's, that's life. And also, how is the how was the weather going outside, Dimitri? Um, yeah, right now it's it's good. Um, is right now it's 62 degrees. The high is gonna be 73, and the low is gonna be 56. But it's mostly cloudy. Oh, um, nice. Hopefully nice. it clears up at like 12 or something. Maybe we could go play some basketball out there, so I could beat Ali and Hal. You know, <laughs> nice and basketball, making mm. shots and stuff. That's what we do. <laughs> for anybody, Whack. for any I fan of basketball. Well, what happened? Ali, you gonna take that? Yeah, I'll take she, it. She knows. <laughs> she she knows better. She knows it's better between the both. Please. Yeah, you know what it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Any fan who watches basketball, you know what happened yesterday. The Celtics were taking on the Magic at the Magic House, but sadly, news was the Magic lost in their house, 92 to 88. Well, the Celtics led us by as many as 20 points, but hung on to win their fourth straight postseason 
game behind Ray Allen with 25 points. The Celtics have won their last seven postseason series when winning game one. Well, Paul Pierce had 22 points, nine rebounds, and five assists. His 19 career 25-5 postseason game. He had six. 20.5 rebounds, 5 assists games since the 2008 playoffs. Well, what do you think they made uh, the Celtics win, Dimitri? Um, they just played smarter. Mm -hmm. and they stopped um, Dwight Howard. Do you think they play as a team? Yeah, they Yeah, they, they have everything. What about, how do you think Jamel Nelson played yesterday? Because I really think he played really yeah, phenomenal. He, was, he, went, he did work, but... Do you think Rondo defended him on the right, on the right way, or... No? Nah. Uh, but Rondo is getting better, though. You have to yeah, watch out yeah. for that. So. Yeah. Well, and uh, what about the rubber bands? Thank you, Derek. Well, um, <laughs> if all of you have heard or seen, there's these new rubber bands that make shapes. That I want. That everyone... Get, you get it in 7-Eleven. That everyone's buying. You can buy them at 7-Eleven. You can buy them at different different stores, but... the. <laughs> The thing is with the silly rubber bands now, they're banning them in schools in Pennsylvania, especially Why? daycares, because children walk in with them and all they do is they lose focus. It's like a cell phone now. Mm -hmm. It's become such a phenomenon that they take off the rubber bands and they play with them during school. So now in five states, so now five states in Pennsylvania, in the daycare center, have banned the rubber bands. So you no longer can have the silly bands. You know what's funny? Because I'm uh, my geometry class with Mr. Rockout. My friends, some of my friends actually have the rubber bands, and they always play with them. But the things they play with it was really funny. It's really funny. I know I've seen. Really, really hilarious. And uh, Ali, what about the birthdays? Who birthdays are today? Thanks, Derek. Well, to start off today's celebrity birthdays, actor Dennis Hopper is 74. TV personality Ka Kathleen Sullivan is 57. Singer Enya is 49. Actor Craig Ferguson is 48. Singer Jordan Knight of New Kids on the Block is 40. Actor Sendhill Ramamurti is 36. Comedian and actor Bob Saget is 54. And finally, Sugar Ray Leonard turns 54 years old today. Nice. Happy birthday to everybody out there. You know, out of the, all the names you name right now, the only person I know is Sugar Ray. That's it. And really? I Who's Sugar Ray? Oh, Boxer. Boxer, yeah. yeah. And, and everybody you name, I don't know them except for one. Well, <laughs> Danny, what's, what's happening with the biography today? Well, yeah, I'm doing Sugar Ray Leonard like um, Ali just mentioned right now. He's a retired professional boxer. He was he was a professional he was a professional boxer. He was named Ray Charles Leonard after his mother's favorite singer, Ray Charles. Leonard was the first boxer to earn more than a hundred million in purses, and he is widely considered to be one of the best boxers of all time, winning world titles in five weight divisions and defeated future international boxer Hall of Fame inducted. Wilfred ben Benetta's, Thomas Hearns, Robert Durham, and Marvin Hanger. And also, Leonard was named Boxer of the Decade for the 1980s. But I watched some of his uh, videos on YouTube, and I could say that the guy is really fast with the hands. I wish I would have the same hands, but luck is not on my side. Well, I'm sorry we have to cut this short. This is a Dr. No Show here at whitradio.org. And anytime, if you want to call in, you can call in at the number 201-854-8224 and 201-854-8199. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye. So now we can talk.